All right, man. The Houston Texans, they got it done once again against the Steelers. 30-6, blowout. Great game. This team looks like it's finally coming together. The pieces are coming together. D'Amico Ryans is helping put it together. And a big reason for the success has obviously been the rookie, C.J. Stroud. So I want to break down his last game against the Steelers and see how he played. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. First play here, all the Texans are running. Got a bang post right here. Got an out here. Trying to put this cat right here in conflict. If he goes out with the out, let's take the post. If he, he drops back underneath this post, let's take the out route. But C.J. Stroud didn't end up liking this, so he should come back to this as his number three. But he feels a bit of pressure. Sees some green grass in front of him. The Steelers right here do a great job of guarding this up. C.J. Stroud's looking at it. Doesn't like it. Patrick Peterson's on Tank Dell. The out's covered by Alex Hosmith. So C.J. Stroud just takes off with his legs. And this is huge to notice right here that he gives you this as, as some upside in his legs. A lot of people didn't give him credit for his legs coming out of college. They thought he was kind of a mediocre athlete. But he's definitely a good enough athlete to do stuff with his legs like this. And that gives a lot more upside to an offense. Next play here. Trying to get in the end zone from the five-yard line. C.J. Stroud's going to snap it, look up to the fade up top, come back to his left. Everything's a bit muddy, so he sees some green grass in front of him and takes it and almost scores a touchdown. Like I just said, this gives a ton of upside to your offense. C.J. Stroud really can use his legs as a weapon. It's a bit underrated in my opinion, like I already said. But great job here and great, great job trying to score a touchdown. I know it didn't count, but still great effort right there. Next play here after a couple of penalties, still trying to find a way to get our first touchdown all the Texans are running here. Give a little play fake here. The goal is to get these backers to step up because right behind them, we have Nico Collins coming on a slant for a touchdown. He has inside leverage, so Nico Collins is going to win this. Man-to-man -man already has inside leverage on the slant. All we need to happen is these backers to step up. You see them all right there. Step up to try to fill the run. Step up. We're going to throw it right behind him for a touchdown. Great job by C.J. Stroud uh, carrying out the fake and then putting it on Nico Collins for an easy touchdown. Next play here, Texans are an empty. C.J. Stroud does a great job realizing the coverage pre-snap. All the Steelers are doing, they're in cover two here. Corners down here in the flat. This backer has to be able to run with Schultz here on a scene that Schultz has, or it's going to be wide open, and that's exactly what happens. Outside of Schultz, you can come back to either one of these hooks, and then you have both of these guys just sitting right here as check downs. Watch the seam throw by C.J. Stroud. Watch the anticipation right when uh, Schultz gets next to the linebacker. If he's even, he's leaving. Put it on him. Wide open in the middle of the field. Huge chunk. Let's go. Watch it from this angle right here. Watch whenever he gets even with the linebacker. C.J.'s already letting go of the ball. He sees the opening. He's even with him. The linebacker's trying to grab onto him. C.J.'s already getting ready to release the ball. Great anticipation here. And watch the accuracy. Put it right on his face mask. Make it easy. <laughs> Can't put that ball any more perfect. Next play here. This should have been completed. All the Texans are running. Got a deep crosser by Mechie right here. Got number nine right here running a pylon route to the back pylon. Got Tank Dell on the backside running a deep dig. All you're reading here is one to this deep pylon route, two to the crosser, and then three to the backside dig. And all we're getting CJ Stroud here. Play action, roll out, and read it while you're rolling out. Usually this concept has some type of flat underneath everything, like a drag or a flat from the tight end, but it doesn't here. C.J. Stroud still gets out. Seeds it's not open downfield. Both of these guys are on it. Mechie, wide open. Puts it on him. Not the greatest throw in the world, but it should have been caught. You can watch it from this angle right here. C.J. Stroud gets your eyes downfield. Sees him open. Puts it on him. Got to catch that, bro. Got to catch that. Next play here. All we got is a little RPO action. Going to get him cross and face. I'm not exactly sure who C.J. Stroud's reading here, but I guess the read gives him a pull and throw. So he's going to pull this and throw it, and man, he makes a hell of a throw. Watch this. We're motioning Tank Dale across on this go that I just wrote up, and then we have Nico Collins on a seam. So wh whoever he's reading, if he comes down, we're going to throw this seam route. It might be Minka. That's who it looks like he's looking at, but I really can't tell if I'm being completely honest with you. But watch this throw, man. Watch the angle. He has pressure right in his face. Can't even really get a good base here and just kind of flicks it out with his... Look at him. Flicks it around him. Still puts it right on him. Perfect accuracy there. Let's go. Watch it from this angle right here. Watch the pressure in his face. In his face. Look at the arm angle. Weird arm angle. Going to get it outside of his body a little bit to get it around uh, Alex Hosmith there. Flick it on him. Big chunk. First down. Great play. Next play here. Great throw by CJ Stroud here. Great anticipation. All the uh, Texans are running here. Got a deep out by this outside guy. 
I'm sure it's a route. If you like it pre-snap, let's throw it. If not, let's get to our reads. So we have Nico Collins over here coming on a deep dig. We have Robert Woods on a drag. And then we have Schultz coming and kind of sitting in this area right here trying to find the open grass. All CJ Stroud's looking at here is his one pre-snap. If he doesn't like it, then this becomes his one post-snap. To his two on the drag and then to the three on the dig coming deep behind the drag. Watch CJ Stroud here throw it before Schultz even turns around. Look at Schultz. The ball's already being released right as Schultz is coming out of his break and all this open grass. They're on the same page. Great job. Put it on his face mask. It's getting easy. Seven, eight yards. Good uh, effort by Schultz after the catch. Next play here. I love the design here. We're going to motion this back out here in a swing so we can get these backers bumping out here because we have this like bang eight-ish post coming right behind it. Boom. So if these backers bump out here, we're going to have this window behind it. If we don't like that throw, we can come to our di uh, short little dig or in route behind that. So it's really just one, two, to three, to the swing. Watch CJ Stroud here throw this with great anticipation as well. Puts it right on his face mask. Easy catch. You see the backers bump out there. You see CJ Stroud already releasing the ball. He's not even out of his break yet. Going to put it right on him into this grass. So he has time to protect himself after. Boom, right on him. Great job. Big yards after the catch. Great play there. Watch the ball placement here. Right on him. Makes it easy for him. Catch it. Get up the field. Next play here. All we're running is a version of dagger up top. So all we got is seam here to clear everything out. And then we got a dig behind it. That's the side of the field that CJ looks at first. And if he doesn't like that, if it's muddy, come back to this side where you have a hook right here or a curl right here that's trying to find the open grass. CJ does a great job here at looking to the left side. Doesn't like it. A little bit muddy. Comes back. Perfect timing. Gets the ball out right on Nico Collins' chest to allow Nico Collins to do what he does best, which is get a lot of yards after the catch. <laughs> Watch it from this angle here. Watch CJ Stroud take his eyes to the left side of the field. Take him to the left. Come back right. Boom. Right on him. Great job. Great timing. Rip it in there. Let's go. Next play here. Got a little under center RPO running it here. So we're running a backside RPO, reading this backer right here. If he steps in to fill the run, let's throw the slant right behind him into some open grass here, especially since this corner is playing way off. If not, let's give the rock because we have numbers if he's coming out here to the slant. So watch him right here. Makes the read super easy for CJ Stroud. Closes it on the run. CJ Stroud, straight up. Put it on Tank Dell. Easy throw there. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Big chunk on first down. I love the idea here to get this guy motioning over. It makes it look a lot more like a run. Makes these backers really want to inch towards this way. And then when the O-line goes that way, makes them just want to fly that way because they think it's straight run. But C.A. Stroud just pops up. Ball. Easy money right there. Next play here. All we got is a little play action. Run here. Gonna C.A. Stroud is going to fake it. Set up. We got a post over here, which is your one. And then we got a crosser coming over the cross top of it. If the safety comes down the crosser, Throw the post with inside leverage on the corner. If not, let's come back to our crosser, which hopefully should be wide open. The play action should bring the backers down, so you should be able to throw this crosser here. C.A. Stroud gets a little pressure. Watch him. Feels that pressure from T.J. Watt. Gets out. I thought he was going to run, but he keeps his eyes downfield and puts it right on Nico Collins' face mask. Great job once again. Just watch the touch right here from this back angle and where the ball placement is. I mean, you literally can't put it any more perfect. Get out. Feels that pressure. Keep your eyes downfield. Almost tucked it. Put it on him. Perfect ball. Let's go. Next play here, we run this same concept that we ran earlier against the Steelers when they were running cover two, except this time we're going to keep, keep Schultz in because they're sending more than four. All we got here, Tank Dell is going to be running the scene this time to the middle of the field, and then we, we still got these hooks outside, which is really the perfect thing to run against cover two, and then we have the flat right here from the running back, which replaces those receivers outside that are running those smokes. So CJ right here is just going to look one to the seam and then come back to one of his hooks or curl, whatever you want to call it, in the open grass that cover two gives up here. Watch CJ Stroud. Boom. He's looking at the hook on the right side here. Looks at the seam. Look at, looks at the hook on the right side. Doesn't like it. Feels pressure from his backside. Steps up. Finds Nico Collins down the field. Keeps his eyes downfield. Great job. Man, that's a great play. Watch it from this angle right here. Watch him feel this pressure. I wish he kind of would have stepped into the throw. He kind of jumps into it, which takes a little bit of the power off of it, but still puts it right on him. Nico makes a great catch there. First down. Next play here. Love this play call. We're behind the sticks. We're trying to get to the first down marker up here. All the Texans are running here. Deep pylon route right here. Then we're going to have like a little sail route here. Deep out to the sticks. 
And then we're going to get this running back motioning in. And he's going to go back out on a swing, which is going to hold these linebackers down on him because they don't want to give up this easy check down here, which opens up all the grass right here for uh, to be able to throw this uh, cell into. Watch Stroud here, poised in the pocket, chilling. Watches it come open, makes a good, accurate throw for an easy first down. Great play call, great execution. Doesn't, doesn't get be much better than that right there. Last play here to finish it off. Great job by Nico Collins and Stroud here. This is going to be a huge connection for the entirety, the entirety of the year. Stroud knows they're in man here. Spin into one high. It's cover one. You got man, man, man. Stroud does a great job here keeping his eyes straight down the field to hold this safety up here while Nico Collins works on this corner to beat this corner right here. Nico Collins gets open, and C.J. Stroud throws literally a ball that can't be more perfect. Watch C.J. Stroud's eyes here, keeping the safety in the middle. Comes back to Nico. Put perfect touch on it right out in front of him. Touchdown, Texans. Watch the eye manipulation right here. Keeps him in the middle of the field. Comes back to Nico. Boom, ball right on him. Put the dagger in the Steelers' hearts. Overall, man, the Texans look to be playing really well as a team right now. Obviously, Stroud is playing out of his mind, especially for a rookie. So hopefully, he'll be able to continue that, and the Texans will continue to win. But I'm curious to know what you think about uh, Stroud so far throughout the season. So let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.